friendos, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have three brand new products from Sephora that I am so excited for. We've got the new Patrick Ta Cheek Palette, the Melt Cosmetics Bad Side Air Palette, and the NARS Power Matte Lipstick. If you guys are excited to see how these products apply and what my thoughts are, well guys, we are just mere moments away from getting into it. If you are into makeup from Sephora, it's a lot of what I cover on my channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe and friendos, just stay tuned. So order of operation today, guys, I think we should do the Patrick Ta cheek palette first. We'll do the melt eyeshadow palette second. And for those of you who can count, well, then you already know we're going to do the power matte lipstick from NARS last. Let's get into it. So here's Patrick Ta in all his glory. We have a pink rosy gold packaging as per usual. Look at this. Perfection. And check this out, guys. I believe these are going to be our two cream blushes, two powder blushes, and then we have a cream highlight and then a powder highlight. And if you haven't seen a Patrick Ta blush palette before, friendos, this is so nice. I love that they include this in every palette. The cream side has a little window that will flip up and flip down. It's nice. It, it keeps the lint and cat hair from getting into your cream products when you aren't using the palette. And guys, let's dive right on in. I'm going to start out with the baby pink shade here in the corner. I'm going to put down that cream product first. Now, a lot of times Patrick will do the powder over the cream. We'll do that on the other side. Because this right here is taking off my foundation. So that's with the powder on top. And I hadn't set my face today. All I had down was foundation. I didn't have down any sort of powder. So let's try it the opposite way. Powder first, cream on top. Definitely this side does look better, for sure. So since we know that's how we should do it, we can't do it my old fashioned way, I'm gonna put the darker color back here on my cheek. So again, with the powder shade first. And a lot of people were critiquing this and saying that this probably won't work for most skin tones. They have swatches up and judging just by the swatches, I do think this would work for most skin tones. Not every skin tone, but most. Okay, then going on top with the cream product. It's definitely pretty. This side, of course, like I said, it looks way better than this one. Really regret going in the old fashioned way of cream first and then powder over top. You guys let me know what you think. Okay, so now it's highlighter time. I'm going to assume that he does the highlighter the same way that he does the blushes as far as application goes. So we'll start out with the powder formula first. And this is on an NJC Precision Highlight. That gives it a nice blinginess, and I don't think that it makes my pores look bigger, which is kind of a miracle because most highlighters do. And I'm sure you guys can tell by my, by my ingenious techniques that I am not a pro in way. I'm just a makeup lover. So in case you guys want to pick this up for yourselves, it's available at Sephora for $58. And I don't think I read off the complete name of the product. It's the Major Headlines Blush and Highlighter Palette Volume 2. Oh, also, I didn't realize this. This is limited edition. And it features two new cream and powder blush shades. We covered that. And a debut of a new highlighter duo. Covered that as well. So my sister, being the master investigator that she is, <laughs> just gave me the DL on what happened last year. 
So last year when he released his holiday face palette, he released it as a limited edition, just like this year. And then he turned around and released all the shades as singles. So there's a good chance it could happen again. This next purchase was a product that I didn't even know that Melt was going to release. I woke up early in the morning and I just felt like it was fate. It was on there as an app exclusive. There were four different palettes, of course. All of them are dedicated to an astrological element. What is it? Earth, wind, fire, water. I'm not that into astrology, so don't hate me. And I'm a water sign. That's why I'm so go with the flow all the time. Then I saw this air color story and I'm like, oh, that's pretty. I don't think I'll pick it up. But then have you ever had that moment of just heartwarming nostalgia where you just feel compelled to buy something? Because that's what happened to me. I was reading off these shade names. I've never in my life had a palette remind me so much of my two little sisters. Let me just read off these shade names to you. Frivolous, indecisive, ghosted, two-faced, mind games, flaky, <sighs> and reckless. I saw Chismosa and I just thought of my little sister living in Florida. She's the biggest Chismosa I know. I bet you don't even know what that means, do you, Caffeine? Should have practiced your Spanish growing up, little girl. That's why I'm mom's favorite. No, but uh, some of these do kind of sound like us. Like uh, my sister in Florida, she, she is a Chismosa. She is a little gossip girl. And then my sister here, reckless. I think that that sounds <laughs> reckless, yeah. She's always saying talk shit, get hit. I'm definitely indecisive. So yeah, it's all three of our bad sides and one compact palette. So that's why I picked it up. And friendos, just so you all know, me and my sisters play hard with each other. I know a lot of sisters can be sort of sensitive and, and can't take a little jesting, but mine can, they can handle it. They can fend for themselves. Like my sister's always saying, talk shit get hit. Alrighty, so let's do some swatches and see how it goes. So first shade is frivolous, indecisive, ghosted, two-faced, mind games, flaky, chismosa, and reckless. So yeah, they all look fine to me. I can't say that they look phenomenal or anything, but I think this is gonna be a good formula. I came super close to picking up the Water Signs palette because it just sounded like me with the ugly crying shade and everything. <laughs> Unfortunately, I felt like it looked a lot like the Muerte palette. If you guys own that palette, let me know if you think that the shades are just a tad too similar. I wish that they would have done something a little different there. Okay, so let's get into this look. We're gonna start out with the shade Ghosted, the peachy shade right here, going in on a Sonya G Classic Crease. And the pigmentation is there, friendos, and it is blue blending out nicely, I am happy to say. So the colors in this palette really remind me a lot of the Coral Blossom palette that Kristen Dominique came out with last year. It's not the same, but there's definitely some similar shades in there. Ow! So next up, we're going to go into the shade Chismosa on the E06. And this purple shade is really nice. You guys know Melt Cosmetics, their eyeshadows, in my opinion anyways, they're a little bit on the inconsistent side, but this one is building up nicely. It's blending in easily without much effort at all. So then on this weird little Eloise brush that I have, I'm going to go in with the shade Mind Games. So that's the darker mauve shade. I shouldn't say mauve, it's really not mauve. Like a dark plum. So friendos, are you guys into astrology? I'm really not that into it. However, I believe in it enough that I would never, ever, ever date another Gemini. If I went on, out on a first date with a guy and he's like, I'm a Gemini, I would just be like, nope, no thank you. Been there, done that. I can't deal with that ping pong personality, if you know what I mean. My sister's boyfriend is a Gemini. What's it like, Polywog? Okay, you, you have to stop cussing. It's just gonna sound like a bunch of beeps. Guys, this brush is just perfect for like pressing up into the crease and getting that good line. All right, and then I'll go in with the shade Frivolous. 
So usually what I do is I try it one time without spraying, and then I go back in with spray just so we can see what can be done because not everyone likes to wet their brushes. I get it. So this looks pretty darn good to not have been sprayed. Then for those closer in, I'm gonna go in with the shade Reckless. This one too, I feel like went on nicely without being sprayed, but let's give it a go with some spray, huh? So yeah, I think this is impressive as well. Okay, now I'm gonna blend these two together. I'll finish up my other eye and then I'll add some liner and some lashes and I'll be right back to you guys. All right, friendos, I am back. What a difference liner and lashes make. So I don't think I told you guys before, but these palettes do retail for $38 each. And of course you guys saw eight different shades in each, right? No, was there more? No, it was just eight. Definitely felt like more. So overall, I was really impressed with this palette. I can tell that this is something that I'm going to be reaching for quite a bit. I just really like the finishes of all the shades. And I do think that the color story is very quirky and interesting. And it's something that we haven't seen in a while. I am so happy that Melt is not just playing it safe and doing what everyone else seems to be doing right now, which is the neutrals with a hint of gold. I guess there was technically a golden color in this palette, but you guys know what I mean. I feel like we're either getting some sort of gold finish or a silver finish just combined with a lot of neutrals and I'm just kind of, I'm ready for something more creative. So I definitely appreciate these color stories and all of these palettes. I'll probably pick up one or two more in the Sephora cell. So this brings us to our last product to try out. This is Dragon Girl. That's the shade of the NARS Power Matte Lipstick. Also, I don't think I told you where everything was made. So this NARS lipstick was made in Italy. The Air Palette 2 was made in Italy. And then Patrick Ta is made in the USA. So friendos, I think this went on really nicely. I will say it's a brighter like pinky red than what I normally go for, but... I don't hate it. What do you guys think? And I have one more thing that I haven't tried. It is the Prada Ocean Luna Rosa. You know what? I said Rosa, but I'm pretty sure it's Italian, so it's probably just Rosa. I don't know. I can't do an Italian accent. Oh, this is super masculine. Is this for men? It does not specify on here. It smells good though. The dry down's a little bit more femme. It definitely has that manly spiciness to it though. There's definitely vanilla in it, but it's not like a, I smell tobacco too. All right, we got bergamot, pink pepper. So that's spice, artemisia. I don't know what that is. Lavender, iris, sage, suede, saffron, musk, vetiver patchouli and caramel smells good but definitely manly Alrighty, righty i suppose we shall call it there for today i'm really impressed with everything that i tried out today there wasn't a single thing that i did not like i definitely will be reaching for the blush palette again absolutely i'm going to be reaching for that eyeshadow palette matter of fact Matter of fact, it is going with me on vacation. I have decided. This lipstick looks really nice. I want to see how it wears. I didn't put on any lip liners. You can tell I kind of did an uneven edge here, but I can't be bothered today. And now I wish you all a phenomenal rest of your day. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Please tell me what your favorite product is. And if you plan to pick up one of the melt palettes, which one appealed to you the most? I can't wait to hear from you guys and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe because if not, we'll both have to live in the sorrow of never knowing what could have been. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.